Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. The Boston Marathon now just three days away. The city and runners getting ready. Runners can start picking up their bibs today at the Heinz Convention Center. City, state officials, they'll be sharing security information. A reminder for spectators, several items are prohibited at the race. That includes backpacks and coolers. Be sure to keep an eye out for road closures this weekend. There's a lot going on ahead of the big race on Monday. Well, a final pretrial hearing is set for today ahead of Karen Reed's murder trial next week. However, it could be delayed further. 30 motions have been filed from both sides this week, and the judge has to rule on all of them before the trial. The defense says she is the victim of a police cover-up, and the victim, her boyfriend, Officer John O'Keefe, died at a party with friends. Prosecutors say they don't want her lawyers placing blame on a third party. Our analysts expect the hearing to last all day. An anonymous 911 call leads to the discovery of a man's body in Framingham. Now, he was found inside a home on Fenwick Street. Police say the body had visible trauma. Off official records show that the police have been called to that home multiple times in the past seven months. They do say there is no threat to the public. All right, time for a check of your weekend forecast with Jason Michael. Jason. This could be also threatening some plans, it's certainly for today, Chris, as we're watching a lot of this activity still churn through the I-95 corridor and certainly inside the Boston Metro. Let's hop around a little bit and get a tour of conditions here. Still with some moderate to heavy rain north of the state line, getting into the Merrimack Valley. And some of these pockets will likely be having some rumbles come along with it as well. Over towards the east and side 495, look at that Newton, Alston, Brighton, even over towards Framingham. This is a very heavy band now moving north into Sudbury and even over to Acton inside Boston and still just some light showers for you and over to North Reading north to uh, Georgetown when I'm over to Ipswich Gloucester even Manchester by the sea just some light to moderate rain showers there for you but all of this activity will begin to kind of pull itself out and also exit. We are the only ones in the Midwest and the Northeast with our heads still in the bucket, everybody, with a lot of rain still moving through the region. The country is basically dry and also clear. And we begin to dry things out for this weekend, albeit with a couple pop-ups both Saturday and Sunday. Better conditions arrive for us on Monday and Tuesday. And look at that. That was a really nice spring bling on Tuesday, Chris, with temperatures almost 70 degrees. Ooh, a little bit cooler on Wednesday and Thursday. Back into the low 60s with some more rain chances possible. Blang, blang. All right, Jason, mm -hmm. thank you. This has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.